Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to be discussing the required practical to make copper sulfate. Copper sulfate can be made by reacting copper oxide, which is an insoluble base. A base is a substance that reacts with an acid to give you salt and water. Copper oxide is also insoluble, which means it can't dissolve it in water. So we'll get this copper oxide, react it with sulfuric acid, and we'll get copper sulfate and water. Experimentally, this diagram shows how this could be performed. So you have a beaker containing sulfuric acid. You would heat this up and this just speeds up the rate of reaction otherwise you'd be waiting a very long time for this reaction to to take place then you add excess copper oxide which will react with the acid and then you filter this off and over here you get your copper sulfate solution which is quite dilute full of water and we're going to evaporate the excess water off by a process known as crystallization and to do this we need to provide a heat source on this table, I've got all my equipment that I need to carry out this experiment. The most important thing that you need to be aware of is you definitely need to wear safety goggles because you are working with some dangerous chemicals like sulfuric acid and that can be quite damaging to your eyes if it does get in there. And you're also using a Bunsen burner, so I would recommend to please wear that. You have your tongs. These tongs can be used to handle hot containers or hot glassware. Um, over here I've got my glass beaker, wire gauze, tripod, heat proof mat and a Bunsen burner set up like this. I've got my measuring cylinder which can be used to measure the uh, volume of the, the acid. I've got my insoluble base copper oxide over here. I've also got a stirring rod on the left and a spatula on the right. I've got a funnel filter paper. Last but not least, I've got a evaporating dish which would be uh, used to form the crystals later on. 